Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some seriously groundbreaking news from the AI world. NVIDIA has just released its stunning new model, the Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B Instruct model. What's truly shocking is that this open source powerhouse is outperforming even the best closed source models out there, including the likes of GPT-4 Turbo. Yes, you heard that right, open source has made another giant leap forward in the ongoing AI arms race. In today's video, we'll break down exactly how NVIDIA pulled off this impressive feat. We'll explore the techniques they used to train Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B, the innovative data set that helped achieve state-of-the-art results, and how this new model fares against some seriously tough benchmarks. We'll also do some practical testing and see how this model handles tricky questions that even top-tier models stumble on. By the end, we'll discuss what all of this means for the future of AI and what we can expect as the next big step in this rapidly evolving field. Let's dive right in. So what is this Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B model all about? NVIDIA has built this model on the Llama 3.1 architecture, which originally came from Meta, but then took things to the next level with some specialized training. The Nemotron 70B version refers to the model size. It has 70 billion parameters, making it quite massive in terms of deep learning models. But it's not just the size that matters, it's the training techniques and datasets used that set it apart. NVIDIA didn't just stop at training Llama 3.1 like a traditional language model. They implemented some advanced reinforcement learning techniques, which we'll get into shortly, to fine-tune the model in a way that outperforms other state-of-the-art models. It's worth noting that the Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B Instruct model has become the leading model on the Arena Hard benchmark from LM Arena AI, which is a highly respected benchmark for language models. So how exactly did NVIDIA train Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B to reach these heights? The key lies in a unique combination of advanced reward modeling and data innovations. It's not just the model's architecture or size. The magic is in the innovative reward modeling that NVIDIA used to fine-tune its performance. We're talking about techniques that push the boundaries of what's possible in aligning language models with human preferences. These models act as guides, scoring AI responses based on criteria like quality, coherence, and helpfulness. Think of them as judges in a competition, deciding which response gets the highest score. There are two main ways to train these reward models. One, Bradley Terry style. This method is all about comparing two responses to the same prompt to see which one is better. The goal is to maximize the difference in rewards between the chosen and rejected responses. Imagine pitting two answers against each other and deciding which one comes out on top. That's Bradley Terry. Two, regression style. Here, individual responses are rated on a numeric scale across multiple criteria, such as helpfulness or correctness. Think of it as grading each answer on a scale from 1 to 5 based on different factors. While this approach is great for detailed scoring, it doesn't capture preferences between responses as effectively as Bradley Terry. Alright, so how does Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B stack up against the competition? NVIDIA's model has managed to secure top spots in multiple benchmarks, and it's worth taking a closer look at some of these achievements. Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B scored an impressive overall score 94.1 on the benchmark test, surpassing previous models by a significant margin, including the GPT-4 Turbo, which was recently touted as the leading closed source model. The model also leads on the Arena Hard benchmark, which evaluates instruction-tuned language models. This benchmark includes 500 challenging queries where models have to provide the best possible responses without any format-related style control. The model's reasoning skills are also noteworthy. NVIDIA managed to fine-tune Llama 3.1 in such a way that it correctly identifies irrelevant information in complex questions, something even models like GPT-4 Turbo sometimes struggle with. Benchmarks are great for gauging a language model's capabilities in controlled environments, but how does Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B fare in real-world testing? To find out, I put it through some practical scenarios, including tricky reasoning questions. Here's what I found. Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B just nailed it when tackling some of the most challenging logic puzzles out there. One particular puzzle, often referred to as the hardest logic puzzle ever, requires not just logical reasoning, but also the ability to navigate through layers of self-referential questions and ambiguous information. The model didn't just provide the correct answer. It offered a comprehensive, step-by-step -step explanation that demonstrated a deep understanding of the underlying principles. The success of Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B raises some important questions about the future of open source versus closed source models. For a long time, closed source models like GPT-4 and Gemini have been viewed as the leaders in AI. However, this recent development shows that open source projects are catching up, 
and in some cases, even surpassing their closed counterparts. NVIDIA's work with Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B demonstrates that state-of-the-art performance is not just about having the biggest or most exclusive models. It's about training techniques, data sets, and the ability to innovate with open approaches. This could mean that we're entering a new phase of AI development where open source models play a bigger role in pushing the boundaries of what's possible. With Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B setting a new standard for open source models, what can we expect next? We might see open source models scaling up to sizes beyond 70B parameters while continuing to improve their training methods. With the right combination of data, reinforcement learning, and prompt engineering, there's potential to challenge even larger closed source models head on. To wrap things up, NVIDIA's Nemotron 70B Instruct model is an exciting development for the AI community. It demonstrates that open source models can not only compete with, but also surpass some of the best closed source models out there. By using a combination of reinforcement learning, advanced reward modeling, and innovative data sets, NVIDIA has managed to push the boundaries of what's possible with language models. It's going to be fascinating to see how both open and closed source communities respond to this breakthrough. Will closed source models take a big leap forward with their next iterations? Or will open source continue to accelerate at a pace that closed source simply can't match? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried out Llama 3.1 Nemotron 70B yourself? What were your experiences like? And where do you think the future of AI is headed? If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.